Good morning, everybody. I just thought I'd start the day with a little something to make me smile. China sending an official to Iran to discuss their nuclear program, apparently attempting to avoid a conflagration of this already delicate circumstance. The Israelis are doing their best to prepare for whatever uh, it is that is on the horizon. And the EU and U.S. are really pushing India to stop uh, Iranian oil imports, but they're saying no way. And frankly, they kind of need it, not to mention the fact that they're doing a bit of preparing for the imminent future uh, as well. Uh, last but not least on this World War III front, uh, Russia and China are going to block every uh, attempt to interfere uh, and stop the violence in Syria. Mount Logan erupted yesterday for about the ninth time in the last year. Uh, slightly north of that in the Philippines where we've had a ton of rainfall and a ton of earthquakes, uh, we saw the third landslide in the last two weeks. The number of dead dolphins washing up uh, in the New England is rising well over 100 now and we saw increased seismicity in the Caribbean plate last night. We had a magnetic filament rip off the northern part of the sun uh, here uh, right before uh, right as I was getting ready to go to sleep last night. Uh, the Soho and the stereo craft aren't uh, really uh, horribly helpful here. It does appear that it could be somewhat earth-directed. And as we come over here to the CME evolution and the spiral, uh, look over on the far right. Uh, the little yellow dot is Earth, and that's really the best way to tell if it's going to hit. You can see that little splash effect. Um, maybe gives Earth a little glancing blow, as you can see right here. Uh, folks, uh, Solar Active Region 11416, uh, as you know, has been developing very, very rapidly. It came out of nowhere. NOAA has labeled it Beta Gamma. It is magnetically complex. It's very large. It's a Zurich Class F. You can see the complexity right here. Um, where it's not really easy to draw a straight line in between the size of polarity, so this is a beta gamma spot, but it is holding together stable just for now. But folks, at some point this thing has to either stop growing or unleash some of the energy, so let's let's hope for the first one. Uh, coming over to another part of the sun here, turning over the northeastern limb, uh, this solar active region does appear to be gaining some kind of magnetic complexity as it fully turns the limb, and we'll have to keep an eye on this one as well. So that's the news, folks. We should be having uh, some uh, solar wind effects from a coronal hole uh, that was pointed at us about two days ago, and uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see what we get from this little filament eruption. Let's keep an eye on those solar active regions, folks. Be safe.